What's going on guys, it's your boy. So with today's announcement about 2K16 starting pre-order soon, I thought it was a good idea to talk about what my top five wish list is for 2K16. It's most certainly not limited to these five things, but these are the things I think about most. It's mostly my career stuff, and I'm gonna do a separate video for some other modes, but right now I wanna talk about my career and some other things too. Some other things are included in here. So for 2K16, number five is going to be CPU reactions. Now, the CPU artificial intelligence ha needs a lot of work. They hit, we all know on Hall of Fame, they hit ridiculous shots. And I like difficulty. I want the game. I want Hall of Fame to be difficult, but it's not the right type of difficult. And you see my videos. I have, I win 99% of the games. I actually think Hall of Fame is too easy because of how momentum is. And I'll get to, I'll get into that with you in one of the other, one of the other requests or wish list items. But besides just hitting ridiculous shots. It also includes teammates as well with the uh, with the AI changes that need to be made. There needs to be less charge attempts, better defense, better passing choices from teammates, and of course, shot selection. And what do I mean by some of these things? Well, let's talk about the charge attempts. Yes, there are a lot of people who try to draw charges in the NBA a lot of times in the paint, but nowhere near as often as it happens in 2K15 at the moment. You have guys where it's a one-on-one -on -one in the paint and you have your teammates or even the CPU drawing charges in the restricted area and some of these charges get called against you. You got guys in the restricted area. So there needs to be tweaks to that to not only fix the charging, but to have the tendencies to draw charge charges drastically lowered. It has to be. Now, better passing choices. The point of interest when you're good in my career is always to play through you, which I'll get into you again with another wishlist item, but they constantly make decisions to pass it right back to you or look for an excuse to pass it to you, even when you have defenders on you. And it's not really, listen, if you're getting double teamed constantly or you see an NBA player getting double teamed, they're not going to continue to pass him the ball unless he's wide open. Not like the way it's done here. And also shot selection. You have your teammates sometimes will have wide open paint area. You'll give them a great dish inside. And instead of going up for a layup or the stuff, they'll do some type of underhand animation. They won't take the step in. You have bigs taking three still. They need to fix these tendencies. They were supposed to have patched some of them, but they're not, they're not fixed. They're still not fixed. And I really want to see this done in 2K16. Another thing is better double team reactions. This all has to do with the uh, CPU reactions. There needs to be better double team reactions. In the NBA, the reason why people are double teamed, and don't get me wrong, sometimes they're thrown out of bounds, sometimes it's tipped off a body and gone out of bounds if you watch any NBA game, but the way it is in this game, it's, it's risky to pass it. The reason for double teaming in the NBA is not only to apply pressure to who's hot, but also to ha make sure that he gives it to someone else to shoot. So there should be more of an ability to pass out, but there shouldn't be a nerf to who you pass it to. Right now, if you let the double team come and you pass it to one of your good teammates, like I'm on the paces, I pass it over to Paul George, he's likely going to miss the shot because of the way the game calculates, I guess, trying to nerf you for doing too well. But another thing is the double team comes way too quickly. As soon as you score eight points, you're getting double teamed. It, it, it's it's not right. You score eight points in one quarter and you, you're constantly pressured and double teamed and, you're, and there's other guys wide open. This wouldn't happen in the NBA. If you don't like... If you don't like how easy it is to score, that's just a band-aid fix, the double teaming. It's not a real fix. A real fix would be to make it more difficult. Stop allowing people to easily force dunks and force other shots when they should really be playing like a real NBA game and looking for open mids and other type of and looking for good passes, which also has to do with points of interest, which I'll get to you later down the list here. 
just to add to double teaming, the, 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 the jump ball thing is ridiculous. When was the last time you saw a double team jump ball? It happens almost every double team if you're not careful. I mean, come on. While I'm on the subject of double teaming and before we move over to number four, I want to add that double teaming is a crucial part of the game. You should be able to do it to the CPU. Yes, you could do smart double teams like you see in my videos, corner double teams, and knowing when to double team is very, very important in Hall of Fame C uh, against the Hall of Fame CPU. But a lot of the times, you can't get the CPU into double team animations, or the, and they'll just run out of it, or they'll do something where they they'll just pass it to an open teammate, and they'll definitely hit the shot. It, it, it shouldn't be that way. If you're double teaming someone who's hot like LeBron who's shooting 10 for 10 and you double team him, he, sh he shouldn't just pass it over to some bench player or someone else who, who has a 55 overall three standing three rating and he's just sinking threes like he's a guard. It shouldn't be had because it's, again, there has to be better AI to make the game difficult, not just ridiculous shot percentages. That's not real difficulty. And again, I don't have a, you know, guys know I'm not complaining. I don't have a problem beating the Hall of Fame CPU. These are just tweaks that need to be made to make the game more realistic. Speaking of realism and to close on the CPU reactions, block recoveries, steal recoveries, and rebounding. Rebounding I'll touch more on again down the list, but you're getting blocks my most recent video you guys must have saw i blocked the guy the ball goes up the glass and the the opposing big just grabbed palms it in midair like he has magnet hands this is not right you have to make the reactions more realistic now granted some of the times people think the reaction of the cpu isn't realistic when it actually is if you guys watch nba games when a block occurs and it's still in the air it's floating in the air etc teammates will grab for the ball they'll go for the ball they'll tip the ball to a teammate they, they definitely react well if you still want to remain having the cpu react like that at least allow an auto reaction maybe toggle in the options where your controllable character will automatically go for the ball once the ball is knocked loose why do we have to press a button where we want the ball it's not like why is there even an option for that uh, what are we going to do knock the ball out and look at it everybody wants to go get the ball and it's going to be impossible to beat the ball to beat, it, to beat a computer to the ball when they have zero latency, zero reaction time because they know what's going to happen as it's happening. You're not on the floor. You're not actually playing basketball. So for you to react to and hit an unresponsive grab button, the shot button you're supposed to gra use to grab the ball when it's knocked loose or why when you're grabbing a rebound, the rebound button, then allow an automatic response from your playable character. So that's all on CPU reactions. Next on the list, number four. Number four is please give us more control in my career. What do I mean by more control? Allow us to change the points of interest, matchups, playbook, and for God's sakes, please allow us to assign plays in my career. This was a feature that was in 2K14, was taken out for some reason when going over to 2K15, and I even tweeted LD2K, whatever, to if if this was going to be added or what happened to it. He told me he would talk to a developer, get back to me, never tweeted back. Please give us more control. Yes, I understand it's my career, you're not the coach, but come on, guys, we're, we're leveling these dudes up to 95 ratings. They're supposed to be like Michael Jordans and LeBrons. Let me tell you something, if LeBron needs to come out of the game, he comes out of the game. He tells his coach, I want to come out of the game. If he thinks that a matchup is wrong, the coach is going to listen to him. If he feels that they shouldn't be running the offense through him, the coach is going to listen to him. Give us more control. Our characters are supposed to be like, you know, the second coming of Jordan and LeBron. So I, there's no reason why we shouldn't have some play here, especially when we're, it, okay, some players have no issue with rebounding, but have issues with other things. Me, my particular issue is I have a problem with my, getting my guys to rebound. I don't know if it's the teams I'm on, and also Hibbert never wins a jump ball. This, These are back-end calculation issues. 
allow us to have more control over that so we can set the points of interest to crash the glass and really make a difference. And as you know, guys, running plays is the only way to efficiently beat Hall of Fame. It's the only way I have like a 99% win rate because I constantly run plays, smart plays, orchestrate my offense, get people open, pass the ball. I want to be able to set plays for certain players. And let me give you an example as to why not having this fails. We had Doc Rivers forced as our coach and his playbook on the team that we go to after the first after the first year of coming into the league. Now, we're also forced to have Doc Rivers' playbook on the Cavaliers. Kevin Love is able to shoot threes. However, the plays that were assigned to him because it was Doc Rivers' playbook for the Clippers was a plays for Blake Griffin. And I'm sure that there wasn't any perimeter get him open on the perimeter plays that I would like to have run for Kevin Love to bring him out and use his strengths as a big man, one of his strengths, which is the ability to hit three-pointers. And I couldn't do it. So come on, give us more control. Number three on the list, and this is actually a pretty big one for me because I love customization, and that is customization options. I don't know. I don't want to get into a whole debate. It's because of virtual currency and they're greedy. I, I don't know about all that. All I know is there are not enough customization options with gear. They completely removed. I don't know why. It's like we're taking a step back on some of this stuff. They completely removed compression tank tops, which I don't know why. There is absolutely no sock options. There, There is logos misplaced on a lot of the accessories. Please give us sock options, high sock options, medium sock options, change colors options. Give us more, give us compression pants. Uh, I wear the knee pads. I want to be able to put them over compression pants so it doesn't look like I have stocking, knee high stockings on. <laughs> Allow us to layer gear. A lot of the NBA players like Derrick Rose who wear compression pants with the Adidas knee pads, which aren't even in the game with the ankle braces. Let us layer gear for sure. More flowing natural uniforms. Maybe a shirt gets untucked every here and there. You know, give us something to, to, to bring that authenticity to the game how about some alternate jerseys in my career we still not cannot trigger alternate jerseys for different games these are things that really add to the immersion and could really give that it's the little things type feel to 2k16 if we get more of these options and another thing how about tattoos you know I was able to put together, this year was a step in the right direction. They took a lot of the colored tattoos, made them black and white. And if you link certain ones together, they can form a semi sleeve, but the artwork is there. Allow us to mix and match tattoos from other players and make our own sleeves and really add another level to what is already a great feature in creating our character because now in 2k15 we're able to really get in there and detail the face and even face scan so that was awesome i've never seen two players that look completely alike and more hairstyles for the love of god more hairstyles let I, you know in real life i have a shaved part on the top of my head i would like that in the game there's all kinds of cool haircut designs that real players have that i would love to put on my guy you know, and a lot of the longer haired options don't really look that good. You know, I, I really would like to see way more customization and just a real attention to detail in 2K16. Next up, number two on the list is going to be better animations, especially in the paint. All right. Positioning and awareness should result in better execution, not being forced into certain situations because of back end calculations. Also, please less dunking. Dunking should be a treat, not a necessity to gain momentum. Given how easy it is to do and how much rhythm it gains, it's easy to exploit it. Playing smart, getting big assists, orchestrating open mid range shots, isolating and hitting layups, jumpers all should give just just as much momentum. Taking an open mid or making a nice pass for a dime should give just as much momentum and have a higher success rate than forcing a dunk. End of story. This is the reason why NBA players go for layups when there is, you know, even semi contact in the paint because forcing over the top will likely miss or, or else. 
or something else. This also ties into rebounding. Allow long rebounds, more control over boxing out and jump timing with both battle battling equally and timing equally, then height should be the factor. In other words, if you're you're evenly you got somebody boxed out but the ball goes a little behind you then height should be the factor there's no reason why a player out of position for a board should be able to reach six feet and leap to palm a rebound because of his stats i actually vote to remove the rebound stat altogether and maybe keep the badges and just leave it all up to positioning like real basketball because that's what rebounding is in basketball positioning not a stat yes somebody could be better for rebounding then you know what leave like i said leave that to height or or strength and and that's because that's what's really going to get somebody a rebound in the paint is how big they are if 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 they're equally jumping like i said or equally you know in the right position to touch on long rebounding as well not only do i want to see long rebounds but a lot of people don't just grab a ball grab a rebound in the nba they might see it and they might jump and tip it to another player let's see more of those animations contact in the paint there needs to be more different con- contact animations when going up for layups not just the same you know series of the ones we see now they did a lot better this year but you know no two layups contact layups are the same let's see in real life i'm not saying that that's going to be possible in the game but i want to see more I definitely want to see more variety and and to top it all off i have to say it again please less dunking it's just ridiculous how much you can dunk now even though this wish list isn't really in any particular order i really do think this is the number one request at least for me for 2k16 on my wish list and that's more body types but more importantly height weight and statistical impact this is a big one If you create a player tall, he should not be able to be as fast as a smaller created player. Body type should be included, so you should be able to make somebody a little bulkier or a little thinner. But if you make him bulkier, he should be stronger. If you make him thinner, he should be quicker. This will add a new variable to the game that really makes the player shape the type of player he wants to be, much more than unlockable badges, even though I do like that feature a lot. Stat caps should be based on physicality and then position should be based on available stat caps. With this, making a point guard may lock certain heights and body types while making a center locks others. It's time to stop the 7 foot 2 inch point guards with 90 speed. It needs to end. Let me give you a good example as to what I mean. So you want a Kyrie Irving type point guard. You create a thin 6'3 PG. You should have the ability that your stat caps, when you try to go to upgrade your stats, you should be capped for speed and quickness probably around 95 to 99 because he's thin and small. But his strength is maybe capped at 75. It's something like that. His rebounding capped at 75 because of his height. You get what I'm saying? Now you make a center. You make him big and tall like a Dwight Howard. He should be able to have a 99 rebounding stat and a 99 strength stat or something along those lines. If they do, you know, if I doubt they'll take this, I doubt they'll remove the rebounding stat, which is why I'm mentioning that. But you should not be able to make him as quick or as fast as a guard. However, maybe his hook shot cap is higher than a guard and his standing layup cap is higher than a guard but not based on position that's where they made the mistake yes it the, it should be based on position but also the height and the weight should be based on position as well add those features in there so if you go to make a center you can't make your center your, your center's height starts at a certain height because of his position and if you make a point guard there are no seven foot point guards period you shouldn't be able to make a point guard taller than i would say six six or six seven the most the most so that's it for my top 
five wish lists for 2K16. I really want to hear your thoughts on this wish list if you agree with me. And I'd also like to hear what you guys think or you're hoping to be changed in 2K16 for my career or any other game mode. And while we're on the note of 2K16, Steph Curry for cover, please. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!